The High Court has barred the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, ESCC, and the Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP, from arresting, charging, or prosecuting the control of budget Dr. Margaret Nyakango in any matter relating to her duties as COB. Justice Chacha Muita instructed parties to the case to file their submissions in the next three weeks and report to court on the 13th of March next year for highlighting of submissions. Last week, the ESCC communicated that it had recommended prosecution of Nyakango alongside former Treasury Cabinet Secretary Okuri Atani and former Treasury PS Julius Muya, alongside eight others in the acquisition of Telcom Kenya by the Kenyan government from Helios Investments Limited in what is thought to have been a case of conflict and interest and corruption Yakango is a beneficiary of court protection after securing similar orders that uh, run until May 2024 in a matter where she is accused of conspiracy to commit fraud by running uh, an unlicensed circle. A constitutional office holder can be held to court and be arrested publicly, even when the law exists that puts across mechanisms that can be used to handle such cases. The DPP, the DCI, and the ESCC shall tell the court what is it that they have discovered that Margaret Nyakango, the control of budget, long after she has whistleblown, long after she has given us revelations that were known to us about squandering of or the, the privilege or the wastage of public resources, that they now find fault in her, that they now have criminal charges against her, which they want to use as a backdoor or a, a means that they want to use so that she can, re, she can be removed from office. We invoked the same provisions, and the judge has agreed with us that you cannot take a constitutional office holder. They have temporal immunity the same way the President of the Republic of Kenya has permanent immunity. Constitutional office holders have temporal immunity against criminal sanctions until they have been removed from